everybody. Paul here at Sound Evolution with the Stroker Pro Classic. This woofer has been 25 years in the make. Give you a quick background on Serwin Vega. Serwin Vega started in 1954 producing all types of uh, amplifiers and speakers for pro audio setups and whatnot. And uh, in 1974, Serwin Vega got with Universal Pictures. Basically, they needed movie theaters to produce audio in such a fashion that you could feel it so that you were part of the action. Chose the movie uh, Earthquake starring Charlton Heston in 1974 to do exactly that. Vega Laboratories came up with the original Stroker woofer. Uh, there were ads on television and radio just about this process called Sense Around. So basically they got a lot of people to go to this movie and check it out and there was this unheard of thing where you can go to movie theater and sit in a normal just junk movie chair and you could feel the bass, you could feel the explosions, the ground crumbling beneath your feet and it was thanks to Sir Vega and Gene Sir uh, that brought that process to life. Uh, later on a few years, uh, people started using these in their cars. These were people that are just a little off, like myself. So all the car audio uh, competitions that first got started uh, in Houston and the West Coast, uh, you started seeing these woofers pop up in people's cars. And if you were anybody in car audio competitions, you had Stroker. The Sorum Vegas Stroker dominated the competition lanes like no other. Uh, it had the absolute wildest design to it. Nothing else looked like it. That reason that uh, the first pair of speakers or subwoofers that I ever even stuck on a layaway as a child were Sorum Vegas Strokers. And I finally paid off my pair of 18s, got them to the house, and destroyed one of them because I put a whole power drill through the company. And I haven't touched one since. Well, today, touching the remake. This particular woofer was designed as closely to the original as possible uh, with the exception of a few modern technology upgrades. So uh, Ryan Klein, um, who, uh, who works with Servo Vega, uh, did a lot of hands-on engineering on this particular driver uh, with the original engineer of the original stroker. So basically what they've come up with is the same uh, dual spider design, one on top, spider pack underneath. Uh, the center piece is adjustable so that you can adjust the resonant frequency of the driver, which is pretty cool because not all the times you can get the optimum enclosure for your setup. You can actually adjust the woofer to where it performs a little bit more comfortably in a box that maybe is a little too small or a box that's maybe a little too big. Uh, it still works in all the original applications that it was intended for, such as folded horns, stuff like that. But if you come around to the back side of this thing, let's see if I can turn it around for you. A hell of a lot bigger motor than it used to be. Um, extremely, extremely heavy. The woofer itself is only a single voice coil. Now modern days, most all woofers nowadays are dual voice coil. It gives you a lot of uh, different configurations where you're using multiple drivers and you're trying to run your amps at uh, different impedance loads and whatnot. This thing's only rated 1600 watts. This woofer could do at 1600 watts what it takes some other woofers 3500 watts to accomplish. Um, you've got a huge spider on this thing, gold plated, eight gauge push terminals to connect big thick wire to it. You've got some awesome cooling in the back of the magnet. Uh, you've got a center pole vent, then you've got what's called perimeter venting. And this basically sits directly beneath the bottom of the voice coil. So as the voice coil actuates inside the pole gap, it can draw in cool air and expel warm air and keep itself cool. Now, the cool thing about this voice coil, it's a copper voice coil. Copper voice coils are much, much more durable than aluminum. It is a heavy gauge coil and it does have a black anodized coating to it, so that helps dissipate heat as well. So the whole thing with the whole black coil, if you ever heard this in uh, magazines or online or any of the forums or anybody's website, the whole black coil thing, basically they're taking a voice coil, they're coating it with a material that allows it to dissipate heat. So not only through its own movement is it cooling itself, but the material itself that coats the coil helps dissipate heat just in the sitting rest position. So but that's basically what's going on there. If you look real close right here, you can see we, uh, we requested an autograph from Ryan Klein himself. Uh, he, uh, he signed this woofer and another one that's sitting outside in the box. These two specific woofers were purchased by uh, one of our teammates, Elvis Gomez. Uh, they're gonna go on the back seat of a Corolla on 5,000 watts. Now, RMS on these subs is only 1,600. So I only need 3,200 watts, but I'd rather have more. Uh, if you have more, you can burp it, you can turn it up, you can give somebody a good old blast out of it. We're hoping to tear his car up. So Elvis, I don't know if you know that, but my goal is to tune a can here roof. So. <clears throat> so that's it in a nutshell. There's a whole bunch of proprietary design stuff on the inside as far as cooling and heat sink, stuff you'll never see. And another kick-ass thing about these woofers, there's no recones. Now you would think that'd be a bad thing, but the cool thing about the Stroker Pro Classic is they got a warranty. It's not buy the woofer and then buy a recone and buy another recone and then pay somebody to recone and then buy another recone, keep blowing them up, blah, blah, blah. No, this woofer has a warranty. So if you have any issues with your Stroker Pro Classic, 
We're the only game in town that cares strokers. Come see me. We'll talk about it. We'll get it sent off. And Sora Vega doesn't repair them. They just give you another one. They've got an awesome warranty, very attractive price point. You too can own a piece of history by getting yourself a pair for maybe even six Stroker Pro Classic woofers. Um, they do handle a ton of power. They do have that same old school appearance. A lot of the older guys really, really love it. Brings back a lot of nostalgia. Um, can't wait to get these things powered up, put them in the vehicle, blow that bastard apart. I'm so excited. So basically what we got here, this is one of our sound boards, like the many others. It's run by a Pioneer singleton head unit. It's got all the bells and whistles and features and whatnot that we need for a basic sound board. Uh, we've got four line level controls. This first knob right here controls the six and a half inch components up top. And this is uh, similar to something you would see in the front of a car front doors, dash, A pillars, something like that. And usually in the back deck, you have another set of six and a half or six by nines, or in the back doors, six and a halves or six by nines. So that's kind of how we had it set up. So the top speaker, six and a half inch components is this knob. Your six and a half inch coaxials with the tweeter in the middle is this knob. Six by nines are this knob, and the subwoofers down below are the last knob. Now those are the Servant Vegas strokers. Those are the regular strokers, not the Stroker Pro Classics that you saw earlier. Uh, but these things are undeniably badass. We took some subs out of here, got rid of a brand, put these in here, it was plug and play on less power, and these things are double the volume. It literally makes this whole entire roof and this garage door shake like crazy. So I'm gonna give you all a demo real quick. Just let me find a decent song. got in here <clears throat> okay so all this is Vega series this is kind of their middle to high end uh, lineup that Servo Vega offers so you've got six and a half inch components up here uh, mylar dome tweeter mylar dome tweeter down here in your six and a half inch two-way same for your six by nine now the component set is being powered by this four channel amp now we're running passive which means we're utilizing the passive crossovers that come with the component set but we're using this amp in bridge mode now basically what that means is your left and right channels, both front and rear, combine to double the power output of the amplifier and get these things loud, 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 crazy loud. So this Serwin Vega um, H7 1200.4 amplifier, four channel, is powering only these components right here. And the big, nasty Serwin Vega Stroker Pro amplifier, uh, this four channel is powering one, two, three, four speakers right here. And then you've got the Stroker Pro 2100, and that's what's powering those two Stroker 12s down there. And it's not even sending them their full RMS potential, which means there's a lot more headroom left in those woofers. Those things are nasty, nasty, nasty. And for the price, you can't beat it. It's a good looking woofer. They sound bloody amazing. They don't sound like these cheap Chinese generic stick your name on it woofers. These things sound really, really good. So if you want loud bass and awesome sound quality, those are some subs definitely to look into. You will not be disappointed. We're gonna take a stroker out the box, not just any stroker, Stroker Pro Classic. Uh, my back be hurting, so I'm gonna let my boy take this one out the box. We're gonna see if my back doesn't break. Pray for me, guys. I'm not yeah. gonna this one. What's the rule? Lift with the legs, knees, back? I don't know, just lift it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you hurt yourself on the first one? It's a little bit, yeah. It hurts. It's definitely. Don't do this at home. Are y'all ready? Are you ready for this thing? Watch it be a box and a box and a box and a box. It probably is going to be. That's how are all the manufacturers, but you got to safeguard the product. Sweet. Okay. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, God, Jesus. We're getting mad. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Night. One, two, three, go. Oh! <laughs> Easy, please. <laughs> it's like we kept going. That's a stroker. Oh, autograph. Another autograph. Brian Klein. Yeah, that's like, that's, that's like, damn pretty. That's like it's straight from Dubai. Gold. <laughs> that gold mine. Gold stuff. That's it. Ooh, sticky icky. 
Ooh wee. When are we installing this? Well, what is it doing here? Do we do that? Do we show them that? Yeah, sure. Come Let's on. do it. Of course, we got to put the seats up. You can't ride gangster no more. One of our guys yesterday was kind enough to build us a uh, substructure for a stage that'll be anchored to the body of the car. Put a little stage thingy on there and like do an upholstery thingy on top of that. And then we're going to cut the box up outside, but the box will be too big just to shove in. So we got to take all the pieces, get them ready, and assemble it like a big audio jigsaw puzzle inside the car. Once we do that, we can load subs in there, and hopefully by then, if nobody's had a hernia, yeah. oh, we're going to see that roof destroyed. Are you helping? Uh, I kind of supervise from time to time. Really? What are you... I'd look and see if you're okay, bring you some drinks. Oh, yeah. Bring the guys drinks. Because <laughs> that's all I do over here, right? Yeah, hey, you're dumb. You have a beard. I'm the beard guy. That's what they all call me. I call you an asshole. We went through this on the first episode. Stop telling me that. All right, another hug. <laughs> well, it's a slow day around the shop. So we're trying to get caught up on paperwork, cleanliness. So I had to dust early this morning. Actually, I didn't dust. We have a maid. Um, but I, I watched. Yeah. So we watched the maid. Supervisory role, I guess. So yeah, basically, there's nothing going on in the shop today. It's a slow day for installs, slow day on sales. The weather is absolute trash. So we're just so, getting caught up on stuff around the shop. Exactly. Why don't we catch up on our cleanliness, cleaning up the store? I just already said that. Same thing that he's saying, but I'm saying. But I like to say what the things he says, the same thing, but different. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thanks for joining us on Car Audio Dynasty this week. Hopefully you liked our informative session about the Servant Vega Pros. Join us for more informative episodes on all the products that we carry at the store at Sound Evolution. Also, leave a comment down below giving us a feedback on our videos and what would you like to see in the future episodes. Until then, see you on the next episode of Car Audio Dynasty.